Welcome Minneapolis Junior Senior High School fans to Hoisington, Kansas for the annual Hoisington Winter Jam basketball tournament that the Lions play in every January, third week of January. It's today, January 18th, 2016, as we're here the 10th straight year for this Hoisington Winter Jam tournament. The girls kicking off things here in the Sunshine Leagues in the afternoon with the three o'clock tip-off versus the Ellenwood Eagles, followed up by the boys in the second round, second game at 445. They'll place the Victoria Knights. The matchup today is number one seed Minneapolis Lions facing the Class 2A number eight seed Ellenwood Eagles, who are, by the way, the defending two, the two-time defending champions of this tournament on the girls' side. Uh, they lost a few horses, but they still have, according to the lineup, five seniors uh, playing on this squad quite regularly. I'm just assuming they didn't get a whole lot of the time to play. Well, blow me down. No, Minneapolis wasn't the champ two years ago. Sure looks like it, Dale. Anyway, they will be, uh, you had mentioned they've lost a lot to graduation over the last year or so. They won it last year. Minneapolis uh, should win it this year. Yeah. We're seated number one and playing the eight seed. But uh, yeah. nothing's ever a given in a basketball game. and especially girls basketball. You never know who's going to have the best game. Like I say, Ellenwood is the eighth seed. They bring in a one and eight record overall. Uh, their only win of the season was last Friday versus Maxville, a 15 point decision, 50 to 35. They're giving up an average of 49 points a game and scoring 32 for a minus 16 the average. The number one seed Lady Lions are seven and two overall, scoring 430 points and giving up, or scoring 47.8 points per game, giving up 34 for a almost 14 point plus advantage. And last Friday we lost uh, kind of a thrilling game, an amazing game at Beloit by a score 56-50. They were down, Minneapolis was down 20 points at the end of the third quarter and came back to cl close within six. As I mentioned, this is the 10th tournament that Minneapolis has been in here. Uh, we have nine previous seasons. We've been the girls' side has been the champions twice. Uh, had one second place, and that was that was two years ago. We played Ellenwood in the finals two years ago and lost. Uh, we've had two third place teams, placed fifth three times and seventh one time. Overall, we have a 19 and eight record for a 70.4 winning percentage here in the tournament. Overall with against the uh, Ellenwood Eagles, their former Central Kansas League foe, CKL, when <coughs> we were in the same league back in the uh, late eighties, early nineties. This is the 21st game in the series, Ellenwood won the last meeting in 2014 in the finals by nine. Minneapolis has won five of the last six. The series is even at 10 and 10. Here in the tournament at the Cardinal Winter Jam, Minneapolis leads four to one, the one exception being that nine point win by the Eagles in 2014. So that's a misprint over there, <laughs> I'll guarantee you. Uh, the Eagles, uh, like I say, have been very tough and very strong in Class 2A in the last two years. And Mike, if you remember right, uh, two years ago we played uh, we played them here. Then we went and they went and, and, and kind of spanked the Elseline Cardinals, Lady Cardinals. Yeah. And the next next game, the Cardinals came to Minneapolis and laid a whipping on us. <laughs> uh, <coughs> they had a very good squad a couple of years ago themselves. Uh, so four minutes to go here. It'll be nice to see what goes on with the Lady Lions. Uh, as I mentioned, we've had uh, 
three fifth place finishes and seven first uh, one seventh place finish. And I guarantee you, out of all those four times, from what I remember, uh, the girls kind of came out and played. Oh, um, here it is, Martin Luther King Day. I don't know if I want to be here or not. Well, I guess we got to play basketball instead of being home chilling. And it's just kind of what it reminded Jeff. And they, they got beat, and so they come back and have to place for either <coughs> fifth through seventh place. Uh, so we hope we don't see that tonight. So the girls can come out and play some good basketball and get down the road to the potential championship round of this tournament. Beautiful facility here in Ellenwood is, or excuse me, Hoisington, as always, here in this community center. Uh, Contrary to popular opinion, was not built as a result of the tornado, tornado they had several years ago. It was in the works before that tornado occurred. But, uh, this is a dual gym. Uh, it'll go the other way for dual volleyball. It's just uh, just a fantastic facility. Wrestling, there's a, a wa nice walking track that a lot of the public uses all around the, the top of this thing. There's uh, Weight rooms over here on the north end, if I'm not mistaken, that yes. uh, the public can use. And uh, it's just a wonderful community facility for uh, not only for school use, but for the community use for uh, trying to stay healthy. Uh, and See I see a lot of the public people doing laps around the top up here. It's uh, in the weight room, as Dale mentioned, it's in use most of the time. Once these bleachers get pulled back, uh, just one section, it's a great volleyball venue, that's for sure. Don't know that I've ever been to anything other than basketball here, but uh, uh, I know uh, my son and his family live in Great Bend now, and they were, their oldest child is, is three now, and they were up here sometime during the fall for some indoor soccer stuff that was down here on the floor. I saw some video of that. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it gets used for lots of various things, for sure. And that jam floor is just in top shape down there. I mean, it's there's not a flaw in it. Shiny. Uh, it looks like new, and they've taken well very good care of it. And we've been coming here for 10 years, as Dale mentioned, maybe a little longer. But place has been in service and it's a uh, very nice facility. Coach Brian Weatherman and uh, Coach Andrew Cherry for the Lady Eagles of Ellenwood. We're about ready for the starting lineups. Minneapolis will be in their home white as the one seed. The top seed will be the home team as usual for most Tournaments. Ellenwood will be in their road blue. And we're about 30 seconds away from the introductions. There's a a keeper on the wall over there, and they've added on to their scoreboard to maintain the points of each. Oh individual. yeah. So they've added that on That's there nice. too. I had they don't that. have, and I think it's only fouls down below on the uh -huh. big board. So and, and but they got the fouls up here. I hadn't noticed that. Mike. And they, yeah, they've got those up there as well. So I don't know if that's, they. That's new this year. The light is on down below on the foul. Yes, board, it is. But don't know if they still keep it or not. But that's well, there are scoreboard. there are lights on down there. But. Yes, that scoreboard they've added on to each side to include the number of the player and uh -huh. the point totals and fouls.
And Dale, I'd like for you to expand on this CKL league, uh, some of the players in this league. This is a tough league. Yes, it is, wow. Uh, and you've, you've got uh, Sterling, Pratt, Halstead, Lyons, Haven, Heston, Hillsborough, Kingman, Larned, Lyons, Nickerson, Smoky Valley, Pratt. Sir. I'm glad we're not in it. Yeah, for Allenwood at point guard, Matty Hayes, number one. And for Minneapolis, Jade Rilott, number 12. For Ellenwood, number three, Anna Clawson. For Minneapolis, Charisma McNary. For Ellenwood, the shooting guard. It'll be number 24, that is Brittany Beck. She's the leading scorer for the Ellenwood Lady Eagles. And for Minneapolis, in the middle, Adeline Laws. She is a tall drink of water. She has improved her shot tremendously down on the low block. For Ellenwood, number 12, Kylie Dahl. And for Minneapolis, at the power forward position is Nicole Forte. I should say three guard. And in the middle, she's six foot tall. That's number 34, Macy Minguez. And for Minneapolis, at the quick forward is Mackenzie Allison. We're just about ready to tip here. And it looks like uh, the Allenwood Center Mingez, excuse me, number 35 is Madison Ward. She is every bit of six foot. Yes. Number 24, Brittany Beck does a lot of the scoring. Beck at right at nine points ball game. Mingez at four and Ward at four and a half. So they don't put a lot of points on the board. But the scoring looks like it's pretty consistent through the starting five. Yes, they average 30 points a game. Macy Minguez will jump center for Ellenwood and Jade Rilott for Minneapolis. Up we go and we control the tip. McNary has it, clears the timeline, gets it on the right wing, Nicole Forte out front, Lott. Back to Forte, man-to-man -man defense by Ellenwood. Ball screen by Laws. McNary on the move, gets it off to Lott. Lott, dribble drive on the baseline. Out front it goes, Forte has a look. Now back to McNary. Good defense by Ellenwood. Man-to-man -man defense. Gator Lott looks for a cutter. Laws has it. Now the long shot by McNary off the heel of the rim, no good. Lott working hard for that rebound. They're going to give it to Ellenwood. I think Jadra thought that it was last touch by the Eagles, but the referee disagrees. Minneapolis picking up full court pressure here. Little 1 2 2 trap. Jadra Lott at that point. Now down low, Menguez has it. On the left wing, back out front, and they reset. There's a good look from the baseline shot, no good. Now the rebound on the back side is up and in by number 24, that's Beck. And she's got a nice soft shot off the glass, and Ellenwood takes a two-point lead. Just underway here, Forte in the lane she goes, shot put up, no good, and Laws cannot control the rebound. And it goes out of bounds, Lady Eagles will play it in. Little 2-2-1, full court pressure, they throw over the top. Beck has it, dribble drive all the way in, and Laws is whistled with the blocking foul. Beck is a pretty good sized gal. She was headed to the basket.
They play it in, out front it goes. Hayes has it. Down the right wing. Hayes back out front has it. Now the look from the right hand side, shot up and no good by number three, Clawson. And Minneapolis pulls the rebound down out of there. Jake DeLott with the rebound. One and done. Forte all the way to the glass. Shot up and in. We've got a tie ball game. Nice little runner from five feet. They clear the timeline and they throw it away. Forte's right there, intercept the pass. Finds Lott for the layup and she is fouled. And good hustle play by number three, Clawson, to get back as Jay Drillot had an easy layup. Clawson's first foul, it's Ellenwood's first team foul. And Lott hits the front end of two. She got them both. Four two here in the early going. Pass down low and they kick it right back out. Beck from the outside shot, good. It's a two. But have to guard her and I believe if we cover her up, we'll be in pretty good shape. Four four here we in the first quarter. Forte from the outside rattles in a three. Makes it seven four. Faith Cornick and uh, Roth are set to come in. Good ball movement. Minneapolis in a man-to-man -man defense. Lott has back. She needs to stay with her. One of our better defenders. Back one of their better scorers. Mendez out front. Left-hander shot up off the glass is good by number 12, Dole. Awkward shot, but a good shot. Gave us the ball fake and right back up she went. I don't know, shot went way off the end of the backboard. And Jadra Lott, what, what an effort. And then we almost get it, we're not quick enough to get back and Beck gets an easy one and we, we foul. Adeline Laws with the foul. Sixth point for Beck. Yeah, Beck has six points already. One team foul apiece now. No, that's her second. Oh, okay, yep. Cornette comes in for Adeline Laws. Beck will get the and one here. Free throw, rims in. Gives them the eight to seven lead. Roth all the way in, jump shot, no good. Off the heel of the rim, a lot over the back is whistled with the foul as Maddie Hayes had position on that rebound. And Jade Rott will be whistled with her first personal foul. Let's see if we can turn them over here, Dale. Nine to seven, the Ellen Wood lead. So far they're able to throw over the top and there's another easy basket. Make it 11, 11 to seven. Yeah, oh. they're making us pay. We're not quick enough to get back. The double team's not doing any good. And they throw over the top to the big and then the girl on the opposite side's wide open. And we throw it away. All the way in, layup, no good. And the rebound, stick back, no good. And Minneapolis trying to get a handle on the ball. It goes to the backcourt and it will be Minneapolis ball to play in as back. Touched it last. Faith Cornett got a swipe of a hand to the face, looks like. 3-4 to 6 to go in the first. 11 for Ellenwood, 7 Minneapolis. Cornett still having troubles getting a hold of that basketball. And then we throw it away again. Layup. Uh, oh, Beck, I don't know how she gained control of the ball, but we cannot rebound it on the defensive end here. Lot. Finally has to go in there and rip that ball out of there for Minneapolis, 11 to seven. Forte looks at everything and jacks up a three off the heel of the rim, no good. Roth corners that 
Long carom. Now Charisma tries to dump it down to Faith Kornick, and it's tipped away by Ellenwood. Good quick hands on defense for the Lady Eagles. Now all the way in, left-hand layup is no good. That's Clausen. And they're going to call player a control. moving screen, I believe. Number two. trying to get a ball screen for Clawson and it is called for the moving screen. Third foul on the Eagles, two for Minneapolis. Forte with the ball, 2.53 left first quarter. Walker's in the game for the Lions. Roth all the way in, shot, no good. Faith Kornick tips it out to Ellenwood. Now they've got a two on one, Lott comes back and comes out of there with that ball as she takes care of business on the defensive end. Now we get it down low to Kornick, shot, no good. Well, she is fouled. Laura Stanley picks up her second personal foul. Faith Kornick, two free throws, no good. Short on that effort, 229 left first quarter, 11 to seven. Ellenwood Lady Eagles has the lead here. Faith's second throw, right in there. <laughs> Minneapolis three out of four from the charity stripe, almost a walk by Dahl. Now Hayes sets the offense for the Lady Eagles. Minneapolis still man to man, Dahl, right wing. Lott gets a hand in there, almost tips it away from Miller. They reset as Hayes gets a ball screen. Now Dahl, entry pass down low. Mendez, shot no good, and Walker comes out of there with a the rebound for Minneapolis. We throw over the top, and Dahl has Jade Lott on the hand. Or on the arm, it will be her first personal foul. Beck comes back in. As well as Mingus. Roth. Walker plays it in to Forte. Walker, jump shot, good. No, excuse me, as Mackenzie Allison with the turnaround, nice drop step there. Shot off the glass and in. Gets Minneapolis within two or one points here. 11 to 10. Bounce pass down low is picked up by Walker as it went right through the legs of the Eagle defender down there. I think a lot might have had a hand on it. Forte looks for a ball screen from Lott. Dribble drive on the baseline. Reverse layup, not there. Get your own rebound, shot up and in. Puts the Lions back up, 12 to 10. One minute to go in the quarter. Forte with seven points here in the first quarter. Oh, I guess we're 11 to 10. That's not right. No, I thought we had. They just haven't put the score up, have they? Yeah, we should be 12. Now down low, back. Good double team down low by Walker and Roth. A lot with the reach in on. Miller. Entry pass, Mingas drives in, layup no good, and Roth hands it off to Nicole Forte. 25 to shoot here in the first quarter. Walker off to Roth. All the way in, she's got a layup, shot no good. Dahl comes out of there for the Lady Eagles with nine, seconds. nine to shoot. Long pass, back wide open, three-pointer. Goodness. <laughs> Excuse me, that's Mingas. No, that was Beck. Was it Beck? Yeah. Yeah, 24 and 34. Score should be 14 to 12. The scoreboard's currently reading 11 to 10, but we scored a basket that's not gone up, and their three-point basket hasn't gone up. 
So should be officially 14 to 12. We'll be back yes. after this word okay. from our sponsors. See American Family Insurance agent Scott Osherman for all of your insurance coverage under one roof. The Scott Osherman Agency in Minneapolis proudly supporting the Lions. Eagle right. Communications, home of ECTV, iSpeed Internet, 910KINA, and 99KG Country, is a proud sponsor of tonight's hometown coverage of Lions Sports. Listen to the Lions Sports on SalinaPost.com. Your Toro dealer in Minneapolis and Salina is all seasons power and equipment. See Ronnie Robbins and his crew for great pricing and service for both new and used equipment as they back the Minneapolis High School Lions. Well, Mike, I'm not sure if both teams have a lot of points sitting on the bench right now or if uh, they haven't figured out how to use this new scoreboard yet. But I think they got it right. Do they? Okay. 14 12. Well, Lady I'm talking Eagles. about the individual points on the side. Oh, no. I don't think they got that right. Ah, the whistle right through the hands of Mingas as Beck tries to get Macy Bing Mingas the ball. Now, Lindsey Shoup in the contest for Minneapolis along with Shea Allison. Boy, we had a back door there. Forte all alone. Now, the shot from the outside, air ball. And it goes off the hands of Shay Allison out of, out of bounds. Just underway here in the second quarter. Possession arrow favored the Lady Eagles to start that quarter. They haven't flipped that over yet either. So some new people running the clock there. Good defense there by Shay Allison to not deny the pass. Hayes to play it in. Dahl comes to get it. Back out front, Hayes. Still man-to-man -man defense. Charisma Vignary, Jade Rulot, Nicole Forte, Shea Allison, and shoot bat out of steel. Lindsay shoot. A little high for her. Jumps in that passing lane and had the jump for it, but uh, all goes out of bounds. Down low, Hayes shot off the glass, no good, and jump ball is called as, uh, excuse me, yes, Charisma Vignari mm -hmm. ties her up. Now they get the arrow changed, and the possession arrow favors Minneapolis. 14-12, Allenwood. Leading at the end of the first quarter, and we're just underway in the second. Layup by Lindsey Shoup just rolls off the rim. No good. Now they've got a run out if Beck can get there, and she's fouled at the rim by Shea Allison. Beck to the free throw line to shoot two here. First free throw up and good. She's perfect from the free throw line and leads all scorers here with 11 points here in the first half. Mackenzie Allison into the contest. Jade Rulot will get a breather. Forte hasn't been out yet. Or Charisma. She got them both. McNary gets it off to shoot. Tight ropes the baseline. Now Lindsay all the way in. Jump shot in the paint up in the end. Well, Fenary with a steal, but it gets away from her. There's the steal again. Shoots open underneath. A nice, easy basket right there, and good defense behind her by Nicole Forte and Charisma McNary. 16 all. Back all the way in, up and under, layup no good. And McNary has the rebound for Minneapolis. Now Shoup gets it off to Shea Allison, up and under, shot good. Timeout for Ellenwood as 
We've outscored them here. Six to two since the quarter. Starting to roll a little on the defensive end there. We're turning them over and we've got a couple quick baskets. 18 to six is the score was, 18 16 is the score of Minneapolis. Was that a 30 second or one minute? That's just what I was looking. I think it was a full timeout. We'll take okay. one too. Minneapolis leading 18 16 here at the Hoisington Jam. We'll be back. The Minneapolis Junior Senior High School Lionbackers are proud to continue their long-term support of the broadcast of these Lions games. Join us as we support student activities and the teachers of MJSHS. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. City Pharmacy in downtown Minneapolis is proud to support the Lions of Minneapolis High School. Come visit Joe and Amber Wool for your pharmaceutical and home health equipment needs, along with gifts and greeting cards. While you're here, be sure to pick up some free vitamins for all your young lions. We promote healthy kids and families. Welcome back to Hoisington. This is the Winter Jam midseason basketball tournament. The Lady Lions tip it off here with the Ellenwood Lady Eagles. Minneapolis full court pressure has paid dividends here in the last two minutes as we get three quick easy baskets to take the lead here 18-16. Minneapolis still man-to-man -man defense. Ball comes in the back now. Mendez has her pocket picked by Shea Allison and Lindsey Shoup has an easy layup. Good. 20 to 16. Shoup. Good defense. Now get the tie up there by Charisma Vigneri. And possession arrow does favor Hoisin, or excuse me, Ellenwood. Stan Lee back in. Stan Lee. She's playing with two personal fouls. But she's the ball handler, as you can tell right there. All the way in she goes, layup off the glass, no good. Lot has it, if she looks down the floor, she does. Shoot there for a run out, and the layup, up and in. Hayes in the backcourt, gets it off to Stand E. Now from the outside, three-pointer on its, no, excuse me, two. long two. Yep. Clausen connects from the outside. Shoop, off the glass, no good, tipped out of there and picked up by Hayes. And we got a player down. It's an ankle. Yep. Is that Venera? That's or McKenzie or Allison, Allison, I yeah. believe. Yep. Tweaked when an ankle here or something. Come down on top of somebody else's foot, you roll that thing over and it is painful. They do hurt. Sometimes you can come back and sometimes you can't. Looks like maybe she might be able to come back later on, but it's a, a painful thing. 22-18, McKenzie will head to the bench and uh, we'll put a little ice on that, I believe, and maybe rewrap that thing and we'll see her in the second half. Gonna have her try to walk it off a little bit first, I think. Ellenwood to play it in. Stan Lee has it. Stan Lee, excuse me. Good hands, has the ball down the court. Minneapolis turns him over, shoot, rolls one in, in the paint. Nice defensive stand by Minneapolis as Hayes gets across the court and shoot with the steal. And the layup again. She knows where that passing lane is, and she's been there about three times now for the interception and the easy layup, and all of a sudden, Minneapolis has an eight-point lead. 26 to 18, 423 remaining in the second. 30-second timeout, Dale. You want to expand on the CKL league? Weren't, weren't we in that league at one time? Well, we were from the about 86 through 93, I think, 87 through 93. It didn't have all these schools. It used to be Haven. 
Halstead. I think Halstead was in it. At Hills. least at least Heston. Haven Heston, Hillsboro, Lions, Smoky Valley. Those schools were definitely in it. I think Sterling, Nickerson, Larned, Kingman, Hoisington, and Halstead are additions to that league since we've left. It's a big league and it's a tough one. Hoisington's just been in it for a couple of years. There's a tip away, good defensive play by yeah. Nicole Forte. Yeah, the ball will remain with Ellenwood. And Stan Lee will play it in. Hayes is fouled by Forte. That'll be Nicole's first personal foul. <coughs> and Minneapolis second team foul. Roth about had that tipped away. She is definitely a right-handed dribbler. She will not go the other direction. Hayes. Lot with a foul. Her first. I've got her with two. Maybe that's on this one. Sixth team foul. Four on the Eagles. Dan Lee to play it in. Dahl out front, dribble drive, gets it off to Stan Lee, loses her balance. Shot inside, no good by Hay, um, Menguez. Shoot, all the way in she goes, layup, no good, and the rebound is pulled down out of there by Beck. Now it's Hayes on the move. Pass down low, Dahl from the baseline, no good, and Roth has the rebound for Minneapolis. Three on three, down low lot, shot, no good, front rim. Tipped out of there and picked up by Shea Allison. Now three-pointer on its way, no good. Shea Allison shot off the glass, no good. And Minguez has the rebound for Ellenwood. Stan Lee. Back from the outside, I don't think you want to give her too much room and that ball's tipped out of there as Forte had it. It will be Minneapolis ball to play in. 3.09 left first half. This is the Hoisington winter jam. Minneapolis girls and the w Ellenwood girls tipping it off here. 3 o'clock start. Hospitality room is open and enjoyed already. And filled and stocked all the way in Forte has one up off the glass and in and a nice runner in the lane by Nicole now three on two they pull it right back out Dahl has it on top turns and shoots free throw front rim no good and the ball tipped around and picked up by Shea Allison shoot all the way in layup good good quick first step and Lindsay Shoup has a right hand layup on the left hand side this is one of my favorites oh Dole lost it and good grief Nicole Forte hits the floor as it was loose now Shoup again shot no good rebound <laughs> tipped out of there like a pinball machine picked up by number three that's Clawson back in the contest, playing with two personal fouls. Beck has a look, can't pull the trigger. Clawson dribble drive. Now Beck in the paint shot, good. Good basketball player. She is. Have a 30 second timeout, didn't see which one. Minute 44 left the contest. I would think it would be Coach Weatherman because Beck is uh, quite a scorer. So I've got her with 11. They've got her with nine. Now they got 11 on the board, too. Well, with 144 remaining in the We're half, it's right. Minneapolis 30, Ellenwood 20. We have outscored them 18 to 6 since the start of this quarter, since the entry of Shoup and Shea Allison. 
I've got her with 14. You know, I think that three that I thought was back might have been Mangas from the outside. But oh, okay. Well, I, I might have. I've still got her with 14 because I don't see Mangas with five. So I. What's I Mangas's number? 24. 24. Well, that's back, and then that's 34 back. is Mangas. Oh well, she doesn't have a three. No. Uh, she, that was that was back with that three pointer at the end of the first. Right. Shoot, layup, and she's fouled. She'll go to the free throw line. Shoot two. Hayes whistled with the foul. That's her first. Shoot to the charity stripe. She'll have a two-shot fouler. First one on its way. Front rim, no good. Charisma Vigneri. Courtney Walker. She got the second got one. The second one. Lindsay Shoup. And Mackenzie Allison right back in there, along with Jade Relock. So it was just a quick tweak of the ankle. Just a five second tearjerker. Ooh, three pointer of Vigneri. Off the side of the backboard. Caught the edge of the backboard. It looked good if it would have been lined up. Back. Good crossover dribble. Looks inside, no one there. Hayes all the way in, loses the ball. Walker picks it up, gets it off to shoot. Layup, good. She's slowed down her approach. She's had a couple yes. of those ricochet off a little bit too hard, and that one was up and in. 33 20, nice, Minneapolis. Nicely done. Un have to play under control, don't you? Absolutely. There was no one on the other side for her to pass it to. She needed to take the layup as she did and slowed down and used a nice little scoop shot, and they throw it away. Beck tries to get it down low to Clawson, and it goes out of bounds. It will be Minneapolis ball to play in. I imagine McKenzie's ankle will be a little bit tender tomorrow. 30.6 seconds remaining in the half. 33-20. Minneapolis by 13. Allenwood led 14-12 at the end of the first quarter. We'll play for one. Ball screen by Allison. Gets it off to Vigneri out front. Allison again. Walker down low. Lot. She's fouled. Jadra just a little bit too far under the basket, and she came out for the shot. She is fouled. 5.2 seconds remaining. Jade will go to the line for two. Fouls on number one. Hayes, that's her second. First free throw, front rim no good. Jade with two out of three from the charity stripe here in the first half. Minneapolis with 33 points on the board. Second free throw rimming off, and Mendez has the board for the Lady Eagles. Blocked by Forte, the beyond half court shot. That's the way the first half ends, Minneapolis 33, Ellenwood, Lady Eagles 20. This is lineofpost.com, Eagle Communications. And we'll be back with second half action and some point totals here in just a minute. Welcome back to Hoisington. Point totals for the first half, Minneapolis Lady Lions take a 33-20 lead into the second half here. Started a little slow in the first quarter as Ellenwood led 14-12 at the end of the first quarter. Scott. Point totals real quick for Ellenwood. See American Brittany family. Beck leads Ellenwood in scoring. She has 14 points. Macy Minguez has two. Anna Clausen has two and Kimley Dahl has two. For Minneapolis, Faith Kornick has one point. Mackenzie Allison has two. Made it back into the lineup after rolling that ankle early in the first quarter or second quarter. Shea Allison has two points. Nicole Forte has nine points. Jade Lott has two, two free throws. And leading all scorers tonight, Lindsey Shue. I've got it with 17 here in the first half. And the scoreboard agrees with you. 
They weren't agreeing with us earlier, but the, my point totals add up. 33-20, Minneapolis by 13 at half. Boys are warming up, and we're just a minute away from the second half action. They always have free throw competition here for uh, the boys and girls, actually. They send uh, one person out from your team to compete in that competition. I we'll have to wait and see how that turns out, but it looked like Brandon Wolf was spot on from the charity stripe with the shots I saw here during halftime. Sure enough. Minneapolis girls outscore Illinois 21 to six in that second quarter with the insertion of Lindsey Shoup and Shea Allison in the game. Possession arrow favors Minneapolis. We play it in, second half underway. Lindsey Shoup has the ball, still man-to-man -man defense by Ellenwood. All the way in she goes, bank shot. No good, she stepped out of bounds. It will be Minneapolis ball to play in. Hayes made a play on it on the baseline, but could not keep the possession and the feet in. We play it in, lock around to shoot. Mackenzie Allison still in the contest. Ankle doesn't look like it's bothering her any. Now down low, Allison back to Lott. Dribble drive on the baseline. Skip pass right out front to Lindsey Shoup. Lott from the outside. Front rim no good, and the rebound's picked up there by Mingez. Good crossover dribble by Beck. Gets the ball down court. Now Dahl. Back to Beck. Hayes, all the way in she goes. Blocked her, by Schlott, I think. Yes, shot was partially blocked by Jade Rulot. They're going to call that foul on the floor on Hayes. Forte driving the lane. Foul before she dished it off. First team foul, third personal foul on Hayes is what I have. We'll see if that comes to be. Shea Allison gets the entry pass, and it's up and in. Nice shot by Shea Allison. She was almost under the basket too far, but had some nice balance to pull that shot off. Hayes now to Dahl on the right wing. Pass is intercepted by Shea Allison, and we turn him over. Shoot all the way down, shot over the rim, no good, and Dahl has the rebound for Ellenwood. And guys out front, Hayes, pass is tipped. It'll be Lady Eagles ball, play in. They box up on this inbound play. And the backside was wide open. Minga is standing right there asking for the ball. Back. Leading score for the Lady Eagles. Won't pull the trigger now. Shot up, no good. Forte battling Sandy for the rebound. Ellenwood controls. Clawson now Sandy. Entry pass to Beck. Baseline shut down. Now Beck again from the outside. Shot good. It's a three. Leave her alone where she can spot up. She'll make you pay. Minneapolis, not much going on offense here. Not much movement at all, Dale. Out front, Forte. Down low, Shea Allison shot up and in. Well, nice she's got feed. Some nice balance down there. Nice feed from Forte. Makes the score Minneapolis 37. 30 second Ellen timeout. 23. 30 second timeout here, as Mike says. 5-13 remaining in the second. 14 point lead. We haven't gained too much on them. 37-23. Beck able to continue scoring for the Eagles. And we're getting the ball down low to Shea Allison. She's got two baskets. Down under on the low block. Seventeen points for 
back and shoot. So both leading scores for each club are right there. Allen Wood to play it in. Full court pressure by Minneapolis. Dahl has it. And the ball goes through the hands of Clausen. It should be Minneapolis ball, and it is. We turn them over, and we have the possession here. Still man-to-man -man defense. No. It's a zone. Two, three type. Long shot from the outside, no good. And Shea Allison over the back is going to be whistled with the foul. It's all footwork on that defensive glass. It gets congested in there when you got some big people. We've turned them over on the inbounds now. Lot down low, ball is, or shot is blocked by Clausen. Shoop, jump stop all the way in, it rolls in for, count it. Back has it, gets it off the doll. Sandy has it for the Lady Eagles. Out front, back, now down low, doll baseline drive no good and she's hacked. Looks like the uh, two-shot foul. Adam Laws, Laws with the foul. Yeah. Her I, third. I, yeah, I've got her with three. Number 12, Dahl will shoot two. First one in and out, no good. Got a little bit of a awkward shot. Number 36 into the contest. And she's got the second one. Excuse me, that's number 35. It looks like a six, but that is Ward into the contest. She is tall. Shoop dishes it out to McNary. Skip pass down low, lot all alone. There's an easy bucket. You don't get those very often, do we, Dale? No. And that one was up and in, right on the money. Ball tipped by Forte, but they get by it. Ward shot, no good. And Forte cleans up on the defensive glass. Now cross court pass to shoot. Shot off the top of the glass, no good. It hung on the rim, but would not drop. And Mingas, or excuse me, Ward has the rebound. Hayes now back on the left wing. That entry pass is tipped out of there nicely by Adeline Laws and picked up by Forte. They turn it over, try to get the ball down low, and Hayes with quick hands. Tried to zing that ball right through the middle of that, <laughs> that lane. <laughs> not very high, and that was uh, off tending not to let that zip by without a hand. Absolutely. Shoot, ball alone, no good. Yep, she was on the line, good call. Forte tried to rescue the ball. McNary right there, the long carom came to the opposite side of the basket. Both Lady Lions were there. But Forte on the line, and the ball's awarded to the Lady Eagles. Good double team right there, Lott and Forte. She gets it out of there, now they throw it to the backcourt. We turn them over. 41-24. Roth into the contest. Forte is going to get a rest. I think that might be the first time yeah. she's been out the whole game. Nicole's going to grab a cushion. Now shoot. Dribble drive all the way in. Skip pass to Adeline Laws. Pulls up. Shot. No good. Gets her own rebound. Kicks it out to Roth. Shoop has it on the right wing. Skip pass McNary all alone. Shot no good. 
And Minguez has the rebound on the baseline. Excuse me, that's Madison Ward. Dahl has it. Picks up her dribble. And a quick timeout called for by the Ellenwood coach. He's going to call a full timeout. And we will, too. This is the Hoisington Winter Jam. Minneapolis Lady Lions and the Ellenwood Lady Eagles. And we'll take a one-minute timeout with them. This is SwinaPost.com, Eagle Communications, Channel 20. See American Family Insurance agent Scott Osherman for all of your insurance coverage under one roof. The Scott Osherman Agency in Minneapolis proudly supporting the Lions. Eagle Communications, home of ECTV, High Speed Internet, 910 KINA, and 99 KG Country, is a proud sponsor of tonight's hometown coverage of Lions Sports. Listen to the Lions Sports on SalinaPost.com. Your Toro dealer in Minneapolis and Salina is all seasons power and equipment. See Ronnie Robbins and his crew for great pricing and service for both new and used equipment as they back the Minneapolis High School Lions. The Minneapolis Junior Senior High School Lion Backers are proud to continue their long-term support of the broadcast of these Lions games. Join us as we support student activities and the teachers of MJSHS. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. Back from that one-minute timeout, 2.27 left third quarter. Ellenwood to play it in after that timeout. Oh, that should have been a foul, but the ball is tipped to the back court. Minneapolis tightening up a little bit on a half court trap. Dahl has it. Good ball movement there by the Lady Eagles. Dahl back to Sandy. Now inside, Minguez turns and shoots. Good defense by Allison, but they get the rebound. Dahl shot no good, and now Jade Lott has the rebound. Shoot. Skip pass to Roth in the corner, goes out of bounds. Lindsay drew the defenders in with her down on the low block, but her outlet pass out to Roth in the corner went a little bit towards the baseline and could not handle it. Now we turn them over once again. Charisma Vigneri sees Shoup on the right wing. One on three. Baseline drive shot. Good. Blocking foul, and they're going to count it. Nice tip away by Roth to get that turnover going. Foul's on number two, Stan E. Stan Lee. And Lindsey Shoup gets 21 points. That's the season high for her, I do believe. She had 19 last Friday against Bloyd. Free throw, Dale, was that good? Yes. Forte comes in for shoot. Scores 43-24, 128 remaining in the third quarter. Dahl has it. Her pass is picked off, but rescued by, should have been almost a carry, as Beck had it on her hip. They're going to call a pushing foul. On Kenzie Allison, I believe. Yeah. Kenzie was trailing and reaching in, must have had her hand on an arm during the shot. Brittany back at the charity stripe free throw. Good. She's automatic from there. Four for four. Minute 15 left third quarter. That one's in and out. I didn't know I could jinx somebody like that. Yeah. Forte off to Vigneri. Skip pass Roth all alone. Jacks it up. No good. Back for him. Back with the rebound for the Eagles. And she had Clawson all alone for a while. Dahl now back to Clawson. Steps back for a look. Can't pull the trigger. Entry pass to Minguez. She's double teamed. Gets it out of there. Back to Minguez. Excuse me, that's Ward. And a walk. Traveling is the call on back. It's put the ball on the floor. Good defense provided by Charisma Veneri there. That's Madison Ward. 
playing down low. She's 5'10", freshman, Dale. Yep. A lot of good minutes here today. She's tall. Shot from the outside, no good. Now on the backside, Lott all alone. Shea Shot. Allison, Excuse a me. nice rebound in the feed. That's Forte with the bucket. On the backside. As you mentioned, somebody had to have that rebound, Dale. Shot no good. Ward has the stick back. And the freshman at the buzzer gets their offensive rebound and stick back for the Lady Eagles. 46-27 here with the, at the end of three. Good third quarter. Better second quarter. Anyway, Minneapolis in control here at the Winter Jam first game of this tournament. We'll be back with fourth quarter action here in just a minute. City Pharmacy in downtown Minneapolis is proud to support the Lions of Minneapolis High School. Come visit Joe and Amber Wool for your pharmaceutical and home health equipment needs, along with gifts and greeting cards. While you're here, be sure to pick up some free vitamins for all your young Lions. We promote healthy kids and families. The Lions of Minneapolis High School are supported by the Davidson Agency of Delphus, Minneapolis, and Bennington. They have provided hometown service for the insurance needs of their customers for over 30 years for home, auto, small business, farm and crop, life and health coverage. Call them today. For 100 years, a school or company has been the expert in marketing your agricultural products. Call and find out how Schooler can help you manage risk and maximize rewards. And go Lions. Welcome See back to Hoisington. Fourth quarter underway now. Stan Lee with the ball. Hands it off to Clawson. Ellenwood hays in tight. Shot block. Picks up her own rebound. Now on the baseline. Shot no good by Clawson. And Nicole Forte picks up the loose ball. Lot sit off to Shoop and push is the call on number one, Hayes. That's her fourth. Nicole Forte to play it in. Gets it off to Lot on the inbounds play. Now Shoop has an open three and we're in no hurry and now down low, Allison has her shot blocked. She took a little bit long to pull the trigger on that one. Stan Lee has the ball for Ellenwood. Clausen. Dribble drive on the baseline shot is stuffed by Shea Allison. Now Lindsay's got the run out and makes the layup. That's good. Time out, Ellenwood. 30 second, we'll keep it here. With 48 to 27, the score. The Lady Lions leading with 7.01 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Well, pretty much in control. Our defense is a little bit uh, too much for the Lady Eagles. Once they get trapping, those uh, passing lanes are pretty evident. We're right there. Shea's had a couple of steals. Lindsey Shoup, Cole Forte. Game and start, the, yeah. The bigs have played well down low. Starting Games. to score a little bit in the paint. Game started out kind of slow, but uh, once uh, Shoup and Shea Allison came back in in the second quarter, uh, it started to look like a number one seed versus a number eight seed game. Yeah. 21 point advantage for the Lady Lions. We're underway again. Seven minutes left, left in this contest. Stan Lee, as the ball gets it off to Beck. Dribble drive back out front to Dahl. I think their coach just wants them to take care of the ball and not throw it away like they just did. Forte has it. Misses the layup lot right there to clean it up. 50 to 27, six points for Lott. Now 
Rebound down low. Mingez has it taken away from her. Shay Allison comes out of there with it. Dishes it off to Lott now. Now we have an Ellenwood player that shook up a little bit here. Got a hand problem or something. Shaking it off. She's all right. Probably got her hand crunched or something there. Laura Stan Lee. Veneri and uh, Faith Cornick come in. Shea and Shoop sit down. McNary now in the corner of Faith Cornick. Ball tipped out front to Forte. Step back two-pointer by Lott just off the front of the rim. No good. And then a Venary over the back or on the back, whatever the proper terminology is. That foul. Her first. Fourth team foul for Minneapolis. Charisma's first. Stan Lee all the way in as her shot blocked. She is fouled. Forte gets her on the arm. Forte's second personal foul. Foul number 34, Forte. Laura Stan Lee to the free throw line. She's had a tough afternoon. Free throw, rimming in. Second personal on Forte, 15 foul. Adrian Laws comes in for McKenzie Allison. Second throw on its way, and it is good as well. Got them both. Got a nice stroke. She's just a little bit short in stature, and our girls are able to defend her quite easily. Now Minneapolis on the attack. Entry pass to Adeline Law. She gets... She bang was ground. <laughs> bang ground pretty good, no call. <laughs> and Charisma runs over the top of Hayes, and it's going to remain with Ellenwood. Five twenty-six left in this contest. Skip pass to Clausen. Entry pass to Mingez, tipped out of there nicely by Charisma. She goes and retrieves the ball for the referee. They'll play it in. Hayes has it out on top. Dahl, back to Hayes. Clausen from the outside, front rim no good. <laughs> I think this time they'll get Faith Cornick, Faith Cornick with the smother. 16 foul. First personal on Kornick. Walker's going to come in for Kornick. And it goes to Mingez. They try to get it over to Dahl. It's tipped out of there nicely by Minneapolis. Hayes back to Dahl. Looks at a three. Picks up her dribble. Clausen. Nice motion on the offense, but there's no one open. And that's a good call as Clausen carried the ball. Before a foul by Forte. <laughs> 4.42 to go, Minneapolis 50, Illinois 29. Forte, dribble drive into the paint, kicks it out to Courtney Walker, and she loses the handle. Stays goes with Minneapolis. Out of bounds, but luckily, Ellenwood touched it last. We play it in. Walker has it. Back to Forte. Throws up a three pointer. No good now. Beck has the run out. Layup is good. Yep. 
50 to 31. I've got back with 20 tonight. Your average is eight. Scoreboard agrees right with at you. Nine. Forte loses it, and <laughs> Allen Laws had the handle on it, or had a grip on the ball, but the defender pulled it down in front of her. It looked like she was over her back, but actually it was a jump ball, and that is the call. Possession arrow favors Minneapolis. We play it in. Kylie Roth off to Jade Rilott, back to Roth. Roth back to Vigneri. Shot from the outside, it's a three by Vigneri. It's good. Count it. 53-31, Minneapolis in control here now. Forte with the steal and coast to coast. She's in, misses. An easy one. Gets her own rebound. <laughs> Somehow got her own rebound and the stick back. She goes up. She is fouled. Foul is whistled on number one. That's her fifth personal foul. And be Maddie Hayes. She's played hard. Forte to the charity stripe. Free throw, no good. Second free throw getting ready to come here. 317 remaining in the contest. Second one is that good. That one is good. Ellenwood with the ball, three minutes left in this contest. Dahl has it, skip pass to Clawson. Now Stan Lee has it. Back to Dahl, dribble drive in the paint, jump shot, no good. Tip shot, no good. Follow shot by Ward is no good. And Stan Lee with a heck of a save over there. Now Ward has another, or excuse me, that's Mendez. Finally, Adeline Laws comes up with the loose ball, and Minneapolis maintains possession here. McNary all alone, three ball on its way. Back ramp, no good. Gets her own rebound shot, no good. Another rebound by Veneri. Third, Third time is your turn. She stayed after it, followed her shot <laughs> twice, and the third time put it up and in. There's some nice passing there. But to get it down low to Ward and shot off the glass is good. 56-33, 2.05 to go. And the freshman gets a good look and a good pass from Mendez as high-low post action. Worked pretty good that time for the Lady Eagles. Beautiful shot by Mackenzie Allison. Nice stop and pop from the right elbow. Good ball fake to get the defender up in the air. Now their pass down low to Ward is intercepted by McKenzie. A minute 30 left in the contest. Entry pass, Allison has it again. Dribble drive, tries the up and under and it's not there. Roth back to Allison. Timeout Minneapolis. Going to have a full timeout here. Timeout called so we can get uh, Caroline Giles, Courtney Walker, and Faith Kornick into the contest. 1.15 remaining on the clock. The Lions with the 25-point lead here, 58-33. Full timeout taken. We'll take one, too. This is the Hoisington Winter Jam. See American Family Insurance agent Scott Osherman for all of your insurance coverage under one roof. The Scott Osherman Agency in Minneapolis proudly supporting the Lions. Eagle Communications, home of ECTV, high-speed internet, 
910 KINA and 99 KG Country is a proud sponsor of tonight's hometown coverage of Lion Sports. Listen to the Lion Sports on SalinaPost.com. Welcome back to Hoisington. Minneapolis play it in. Courtney Walker plays it in to Kylie Roth. Carolyn Giles in, in the contest. Faith Kornick along with Adeline Laws. Walker from the corner, shot rimming off. Good look, now gets it out to Carolyn Giles. <laughs> Hands it off to Faith. Now Carolyn is mugged. I think uh, Faith Cornett got away with a little hop, skip, and a jump out there. We'll play it in, Walker. Gets it in to Carolyn Giles. Now Courtney Walker has it. Man-to-man -man defense, five-second call as Beck is closely guarding Courtney Walker. We turn it over with 42 seconds left in the contest. There's a Norwegian gal in, and I will not be able to pronounce her name with all those periods and J's. <laughs> Joran or something of that sort. Have her Joran. That's as close as I can come, Dale. Out front it goes, Dahl. Sejourn, Sejourn, something yeah. like that. And that's a shot by her. Just off the mark a little bit. It goes out of bounds. It will be Minneapolis ball to play in. Haven Sejourn, something to that effect. Okay, I'll go with that. Kylie Roth hands it off to Walker. 12 to shoot. Beck has an interception. Now the nice pass to the back side. And Laura Stan Blee gets her first basket of the game on a nice beat by Beck. That's the way it'll end. 58-35 Minneapolis Lady Lions victorious. We'll be back with some point totals and the boys game here shortly and some comments from Dale in just a minute. Your Toro. Well, welcome back to the uh, Cardinal Winter Jam here, the Sunshine Leagues, Monday afternoon, January 18th, 2016. Lady Lions, number one seed, have just defeated the number eight seed defending champion, Ellenwood Eagles, 58 to 35, to move on to the semifinals. What should we play Friday afternoon at the same time, same station, 3 p.m. as today. Well, a lady <coughs> hold serve. It was a good contest. We had control of this contest from the get-go. Ellenwood played uh, pretty good early on, but Minneapolis defense just too much as the game wore on. We will play either the uh, number four seed, Russell Lady Broncos, or the number five seed, Otis Bison. Not sure what they are. But, uh, by quarters, the Lions were outscored 14 to 12 in the first quarter, came back with a vengeance in the second quarter, uh, outscoring the Eagles 21-6 to take the 33-20 lead. Uh, Cruz to the second half, 13 to seven lead in the third quarter and a 12 to eight lead in the fourth quarter. They end up with a 58-35 win. Point totals real quick. Leading uh, Ellenwood and scoring Brittany Beck had 20 points. And uh, it's quite a, she's a scorer. She's a pretty good scorer. Yes, she is. Foot. She's, uh, I call her a big body. She's a tall gal, but uh, can get up and down the floor quite well. She's got good uh, moves in the paint and can shoot the ball from the outside. She's got a good basketball head on her too. She in the passing lane and she's a good rebounder as well. Pretty good ball player. Madison Ward, the freshman, had four points. Macy Minguez had two. Laura Stan Lee, sophomore, very good uh, ball handler, but uh, 
Brooks, a little bit undersized, off a quick though, had four points. Anna Clausen had two. And Kylie Dahl had three points. For Minneapolis, Faith Kornick had one point. Charisma McNary had five. Mackenzie Allison had four. Shea Allison had six. Nicole Forte had 12. Jade Rilott had six. And leading all scorers tonight, Lindsey Shute had 23. And that is easily her uh, leading scoring output of the season so far. So congratulations to the Lady Lions, number one seed, taking care of the number eight seed, which she should do if the seedings mean anything. As expected, yes. And uh, they will move on to face league foe Russell or Otis Bison next Friday after the games that would be played this evening. Well, with that, we're going to wrap this broadcast up and be back for the boys game. They're going to play Victoria here at 445. Dale Leach and Mike Perry signing off. We'll be back with you in a little bit. We'll be back.